Hello and Namaste. Welcome back to the channel. Once again, I am here with my new unboxing video. In today's video, I have Samsung Galaxy Watch 4 in front of me. My box is little different. If you had seen other videos, they usually have the picture of watch in front of the box. I have got the black version in 44mm size. Without further ado, let's do the unboxing. I will go ahead and tear the seal from the package. This is a 44mm version with a black band. It has 1.4 inch Super AMOLED display which support always on display. It is protected with Corning Gorilla Glass DX Plus front with aluminium frame. It has Bluetooth 5.0. Wi-Fi, GPS, 5 ATM water resistant for up to 30 minutes and also IP68 rating. Let's have a glance at the Samsung Galaxy Watch 4 packaging. Let's lift off this top cover of the box. Here is the watch itself. Here we have the magnetic charging cable. The charger snaps on magnetically but it has a standard USB end. We have the quick start guide and terms and condition which is quite small pamphlet like when unfolded. Now let's talk about the silicon strap. This watch strap feels nice and comfortable. They have a little pin to release them so you could attach a standard watch strap that fit that size. Getting the pin in is little bit challenging. The watch seems really slick and much lighter weight. You can see the bezels. Two buttons here on the right side. One that has a red outline. No buttons on the other side. And then here is the back of the Samsung Galaxy Watch 4 which have all the sensors. Alright, I will go ahead and put this on my wrist real quick and show you what it looks like and how it feels wearing it. It is quite comfortable to wear. Now let's set up this watch. For setting this up, you need an Android phone running Android 6.0 or higher with at least 1.5 GB RAM. This watch is not compatible with iPhone. Now let's follow this little quick start guide. First it says you can press the power home button and download the Galaxy wearable app to connect your device to your smartphone. Let's go ahead and hold on the power home button here for a moment. Now the little Samsung logo has appeared on the watch screen. I am going to find my Galaxy wearable app in my mobile. If you don't already have that, you can go to the Google Play Store and search for Galaxy wearable and install it. Or if you already have it, then simply you can open the app. You can see the welcome screen here. Now app is asking to agree policies. Simply tap to the agree button. Sweep up. In the watch, you can change the language. I am going to stay with English United States. If you need help, there is also some help and accessibility button for more information. Now on the wearable app, it's scanning for new device to add. Here on the watch screen, it says Galaxy Watch 4. So tap on the Galaxy Watch 4 on the mobile app. Now there is some vibration and buzzing and displaying the Bluetooth pairing code to match. Now it has stopped buzzing. 
pop up it's showing to install Galaxy Watch 4 plugin. In the meantime, here you can see the watch screen saying, check your phone to complete setup. This plugin is needed to control your watch with the Galaxy Wearable app. It is redirecting me to the Play Store, right to the Galaxy Watch 4 plugin app. This might not happen for you, if you are using Samsung phone. Now go ahead and tap install button. Now installation is completed. Let's go back to our wearable app. It is asking me to sign in to Samsung account for more features. If you don't want to sign in now, you can skip or you can tap sign in button to assess Samsung health backup and restore. Bixby voice assistant and find my watch. For now, I am going to skip this. Next screen says, continue agree to the Samsung terms and conditions and Samsung privacy notice. You can also click here to send diagnostic data if you want to. This is optional. Now tap continue. Now it says, allow Galaxy Watch 4 plugin to manage your Galaxy Watch 4. Tap on allow if you want to set up this property. Next, Galaxy Watch 4 plugin to assess photos and medias on your device. You can allow or don't allow this. I am going to tap on allow. And next is allow notification access for a Galaxy Watch 4 plugin. Tap allow if you want to have notification from different messaging app and text messages. I am going to allow here. Here we have Google Terms of Service. This is because the Samsung Watch is now running Wear OS which is Google software. Here. You can select or deselect the usage and diagnostic report and assess location for better location accuracy. If you are comfortable, select both options and simply tap agree button. If you don't agree, then you will not be able to use the app. Now it's getting ready. It might take a few minutes. Getting Google account info. This might take a few minutes. Now, it is asking me to choose my Google account to get most out of my new device by linking the Google account. You can continue as this account or choose other account. And it says finishing up and this might take a few minutes. In the wearable app, you can see the battery percentage, watch faces if you want to change your watch face, app screen, tiles and quick panel. Also we have watch setting, find my watch, tips gear manual and store now let's go to the watch and take a tool tap start it says sweep down from the top to open the quick panel this is the quick panel sweep up to go back to the watch face for apps sweep up from the bottom edge okay sweep down to go back to the watch face for notification, sweep right. You can tap to open the notification. Now it says sweep right from the edge to go back to the previous screen. Sweep left to go back to the watch face. For tile, sweep left. Press the home key to go to watch faces from any screen. Yeah, that's it. Here it says don't miss a thing. The orange dot indicates new notification. You can slide your finger around the watch screen to see the different sensor app. This is the first watch to get Google New Wear OS 3, which is going to be on Samsung watch for the first time. Samsung has its own OS before. This is new function, OS is supported to provide the best of Samsung apps and Google apps all in one to synchronize with your phone more easily. It supports bunch of third party apps from App Store. Now I can use Google map on my Galaxy Watch 4. It has 450 by 450 pixel resolution with 321 ppi density. It has internal memory of 16 GB with 1.5 GB RAM. It is powered by Samsung's new 5 nanometer Exynos W920 chipset. It has 361 mAh lithium-ion battery. 
It has the new sensor on the back. The bioactive sensor has the combination of optical heart rate ECG which is the electrocardiogram for checking possibilities of the arrhythmias, arterial fibrillation that is a one particular part of something you should see your doctor about. It's not a complete heart scan. Remember that it's a one lead ECG. And the third sensor which is totally new is electrical bioimpedance. It is an electrical circuit that get started when you put your two finger on the button on the right side of the Samsung watch. That will scan your body to see what your body water level are, what your muscle mass is, what is your BMI is. This is supported to give you a comprehensive body analysis. The slip tracing which also does snore detection. The available color are black, green, silver and pink. The 44mm model weight up to 53.3 gram. The watch comes with 40, 42, 44 and 46mm version. Despite all the features upgrade, Samsung is still promising up to 40 hours of battery life. There is also an LTE variant. Stay tuned for more. Thank you for watching and I look forward to trying out the many features of this Samsung Galaxy Watch 4. Please don't forget to subscribe my channel, do comment and like my videos. That's all for today. Thank you and see you in next video.